Hi there. Um, I've been using the Zoom F6 for a little while, uh, really enjoying using it. I um, mainly do wildlife recording, um, so I'm out and about uh, moving around. So it's a very portable mobile uh, recorder for me. I'm not using it for a lot of the complexities that the machine can use. Uh, instead, I'm wandering around the fields with a mic um, or setting up a, a stereo rig or whatever. I love the recorder. Um, but I've always been quite aware that it's it's a little bit vulnerable just sat out in its own. I, I don't like um, bits of technology just kind of bouncing around off me or fences or gates or whatever else. So um, I wanted a, a, a case for it for a little while. Uh, I did quite a bit of a digging around and um, I found there are three cases available on the market. Um, the first is um, this one, which seems to be by Zoom. I don't know if that's actually right, but it, um, it's the, definitely the cheapest of the options. Uh, £49 is the price I seem to be able to find it from, in this case from Wix Photo Video, but um, it's available generally at that price around. Um, it, it's really just a hard cover for it. Um, so that is the size of the recorder itself um, and everything hangs out the side of it. And they've got this pouch on the side for um, radio mics, which isn't really useful for, to me, but um, some people might find that useful. So that's the cheapest option. Um, then there's this, the Stingray bag. Um, now, this is uh, up at £90. Um, that's as cheap as I found it anywhere. This is from Pink Noise. Um, I bought both of the two options I'm going to talk about from Pink Noise, and they delivered them in a couple of days, actually. This is between Christmas and New Year, so really impressed with them. Um, so they're both in stock. Um, so uh, I'd seen this one reviewed um, by on YouTube by Free to Use Sounds, and they're a brilliant um, source of all sorts of wisdom for um, field recording. And he's just got hold, I just got hold of one of these, so I thought I'd get hold of that. Um, I like it. It's nice and compact. Um, it's a decent size uh, in that sense uh, and slightly cheaper. And then the top of the range one is by Orca. Um, at the moment, 112 is as cheap as I could find it, again, from Pink Noise. Um, I don't know if you'll find it much cheaper than that. Um, this is just after Christmas 2021. Um, so it's a uh, higher spec, there's more bits and pieces with it. It's got um, kind of pockets, which we'll talk about as we go through the videos. Um, so there is more to it, which re is reflected in the price. You know, you're paying for more. So that's, I think, they're, they're kind of fairly priced in terms of the spec of the three of them against what you're actually getting. So um, I've just got them. Uh, I'm going to go through a video of just playing with them. They've just not quite unboxing because they were unboxed, but just kind of my first impressions really as I play through the, 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 three, the two of these. I didn't even, for me, I didn't order um, the Zoom one, although it's the cheapest. Um, I like a little bit more protection this. I wanted more protection in this. So I, I wrote that one out. It's got a waste belt on it. It um, seems to be getting good reviews, but for me, it didn't seem to be right. Um, but I'd seen some positive and negative things about the, the other two. Um, for this one, the main negatives I saw about it were about this belt, waistband, shoulder strap thing um, that I'd seen some reviews which just seemed to say it doesn't fit, it didn't work for some people. So that was my concern. Um, whereas the Orca comes with um, these kind of attachment straps. Um, it's designed, it comes with um, a strap um, that you can use either as a waist belt or over the shoulder. Um, but you've, there's more flexibility in that, or you can swap it out for your own belt. Um, so it is more flexible, it's got more things to it, um, but it might not suit. So let's have a look and see what happens. So I've got here um, the Stingray bag. Um, this seems to be uh, favourably reviewed. The one concern people have with it is the strap, which I'll come on to later on. We'll see what that's like. Uh, but that's the Stingray from KTEC. Um, and this is the Orca. Or two six eight, um, which is great. It's a little bit blue for my liking, but um, it looks great. So we'll go through both of those and have a, a quick look and see what happens. Um, this is just a first impression review. I've not used them. I've unbagged, debagged them, but I've not done anything else yet. So uh, we'll see how we get on with that. Um, so here's the stingray. Um, so we'll just pull it out. The, the concern people have with this is about the belt. The belt is attached, permanently attached, so you can't get rid of it. Um, so the belt it either wants to work or else it doesn't work. That's why I got both these bags from uh, Pink Noise. I got them both delivered this morning. Um, so uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that bit of the review, but that's just something to be concerned about. Some people say it fits, it works great. Other people say it doesn't. Um, it's designed to be worn as a hip belt, waist belt. Um, uh, but it, they also say it can be worn, worn over the shoulder as well. Uh, a couple of the reviews I saw, one said, uh, I think it was translated, auto-translated, 
Um, said uh, to, uh, to, um, if you're a, a fat man, you have to wear it over your belly, <laughs> not under it. Uh, and another review said, uh, I'm a slim woman, and it just fell straight onto the floor. Um, so that's the issue with that. It's either going to work or it's not. Uh, I think I prefer the look of the bag, so it'll come down to fit. Just some little silica gel there. So it comes with that strap. Um, and uh, there's both these bags have got a clear um, plastic cover for them, which fits over the top here. Uh, I think from memory from one of the reviews I saw, it clips on here. Um, so it can roll down and then goes over and Velcros on the back. Um, you'll see that in other reviews. I'm not going to go and take lots of time over it. But there is that plastic cover there, which I think can give you a little bit of room to get in underneath it. Um, but it's there, uh, but it's removable as well. I think one of the reviews I saw was concerned that there wasn't a plastic cover so on one of the bags, so I don't know whether they both introduced it as standard. I certainly didn't pay anything extra. So let's open it right up. We'll see what we get. So access to both sides for cables and so on, uh, and to the top. Now, let's see if we can get the zoom in. Um, there was a little bit of now, how you get it in. I've seen different people do reviews where they try and put it in different ways with some success and some not success. So struggling here with a bigger battery. Oh, we can open up the bottom. There we are. There. Right, so that's that in place. So these Velcro straps will go in and secure this. Managed to do this on video. I think I saw somebody saying it's fiddly to get in and out, but for me that's not an issue because once it's in, it's going to stay in. I can't imagine I'll ever want to use this without the bag. If you're using it in different situations, you might want to think about that. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad. A couple of minutes of faffing. I just scratched my thumb. So I said it was a bit tricky getting this in. Uh, you might see one of the other reviews where um, you see wiggling the recorder in this way and sort of forcing it in. Um, actually, if you open up the bottom, um, the recorder pretty much just slides straight in there. Um, so it, it's a lot easier to get in than I'd initially thought. Um, so this is even with a big battery that's still in the bottom of this. Um, so I just kind of sl slotted that in. You saw how easily that went. And then this bit is a little bit fiddly with these Velcro straps, but it's fiddly because they're so good at doing their job. I think this is the main win over the um, the Orca bag. Um, but it, I did it this time, I did it. I've got the um, Velcro straps out the way first before I slid it in. And then, um, I don't know if I'll be able to show this well enough, but you can pretty much slide them through there once it's in the right sort of place. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Let's do the same on the other side again. I've got it out of the way. So, um, yeah, that one just went straight through because I've done it once before. So that's it in place. Bob's your auntie. Um, and it's done. I think you I'd want the rain cover on that. Even just to protect it in transit so that it doesn't bounce off anything in my bag or my car or my shelves. That's the rain cover. You can easily pull it off and then over the top and it secures just under this. Okay, so um, it's well and truly covering that. Uh, you can still get in, you can get your hands in underneath that actually. It's something I'd not anticipated uh, being useful, but actually, it does mean that you can actually use it in the rain. Um, I wonder if this would come down. Yeah, no, that doesn't really work like that. So it's not entirely perfect as a cover for storage, 
really, I don't think. I wonder if there's another option for that. Mm. Might give that a bit of thought. Um, this, you might have seen this in other reviews, the, this works as a sort of tabletop kickstand so that it sits up and is more accessible. Um, again, that's not something I anticipate using, although it might be useful for just kind of input and output. But anyway, that's, well, there's a kickstand there, if that's useful. I wonder if I'll come up later with a better solution for this. Because there is no, no kind of lockdown option there, other than as it's designed. how much that sticks off the top so it might be useful in, for using it where you can access controls but it is sticking up a bit okay so let's see what space there is there's quite a bit of room in the side here i saw um one guy reviewing this um is it free to use sounds i think he's called um where he noticed discovered by accident that there's little metal bits here so if you've got um magnetic clips uh, for the micro UZ, you can get magnetic clips for it, and he had it on that as a kind of more stealth mode, just with the the lav mic clip clipped on there. I think I noticed there were some of those in the bottom as well. Um, so um, let's get rid of this, just for this sake of this. So in the bottom, yeah, there's four here. Um, you might have a use for these. I, I can't imagine one, um, but um, he had a clip. He had a clip where he'd gone out doing some recording where the the little magnetic mic clip on here just to record the two of those clipped on they had it sort of just hanging around his waist like a bum bag and um, so he does sort of recording in airports and stuff like that where he doesn't really want to be walking around with a big um recorder or a big mic so that might be useful for you not for me but might be so in the sides you can see you can clearly access everything here um so i've just Grabbed a couple of XLRs, so I've got one from my Uzi. Um, and I've got another cable, which is marginally bigger, but not a lot. Um, so as you clip those in, you'll see that the clips do stick out quite a bit. He had managed, I wasn't entirely convinced I would want to do this, but he had managed um, to zip this down. Oh yeah, it's okay actually. Uh, so it does zip up. With the cables around the bottom again that'll keep a bit of water a bit of weather out um you, you want to be careful you're not bouncing that off everything but it does actually quite see these are quite big cables um, and then headphone jack i think how would they do that wrong end so that's quite a typical setup for me um if i've got one or two mics coming out the bottom for um, either a stereo array or from a um, parabolic dish. So the cables are all neatly there in a way, and then goes up to my headphones. Um, I might route that slightly differently if, it's, if I'm wearing it on the side of my body, but that's not a problem. We could easily, there's easily room for the cables to run along the inside there, and then out the other side. Okay, let's just check that on the other side. I presume it's, assuming I've got it in centrally. It's going to be the same on the other side. Yeah, that's okay actually. Not better than I feared. So that's it. Um, I'll try and get some clips later. The belt, um, the, the belt apparently is enormous. Uh, I think you'd need a 200 inch waist to kind of use up the weight of this, but I think it, it's so that you can get it over your shoulder. So I'll play with that a little bit and see whether it works. Okay, so um, I've shown you both bags. Um, I've got here the Stingray bag. I'd said that one of the concerns I'd seen on that was about how it fits um, because you can't remove this belt or take it away. Um, so I just thought I'd have a go at that. Um, I said the reviews, various reviews I'd seen had said the strap is massive. Um, this strap will take someone with a 68 inch waist. Um, so it's certainly big enough. Uh, it's, it's massive in reality. Um, but it is designed to be able to worn wear either across the shoulder like this. Even then, for me, I'm six foot four and this is halfway down my thigh. Um, so I think it'll be, if I keep this one, I'll be cutting cutting it off and shortening it down. It sits nicely there. I was a bit concerned about this with the, that kind of, what's well, definitely a belt strap, that that would sit a little bit fine, funny, but 
Um, it's okay, quite happy with that. Um, it swings around. Now, this is the way I've worn the recorder in the past, just with a, a camera strap over without the bag. So if it sits fine there, um, and see there's plenty of, of um, extra range in that. And then round the belt, <laughs> you can take away the spare. I'm a 40 inch waist, so I'm not, I'm not tiny. Um, it's a, sits, it actually sits quite comfortable around the waist. I've never worn a bag like this before. Um, it just uh, because I suppose because I've only had one with a kind of camera strap over the shoulder, uh, but actually it sits quite nicely on my on my front, um, or I can have it around to the side a little bit. So yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed with the strap. I think the other thing I was thinking about this um, after playing with it a little bit more, um, I keep saying several times I've got this massive battery in there, um, and if you take out that battery, um, there's actually you know, even with the smaller battery, there's quite a bit of space in there. So I think if you've got cables coiled up or whatever else, um, or other bits and pieces you want to store, I think I mentioned the Mars bar before, um, there's quite a bit of space um, in there. I haven't got the other battery around about me, but, you know, that's probably two inches down the bottom there. Um, so there is, um, there is storage space in there for coiled up cables or other bits and pieces you might want to put in. Um, yeah, so good. Okay, so here's the Orca bag. Um, it's a bit bigger uh, than the Stingray. I've just put them back together side by side, you can see that. Um, not entirely obvious because all the flaps are open, but it's a little bit bigger than that. It's not There's not a lot in it. Um, I guess the big bit is that the sort of blue bit sticking up above, so we'll see whether that's useful. Um, but there's not much difference in it. I say I've bought them both from... Um, who did I get them from? I bought them both <laughs> and I'll return one of them. I, yeah, that's embarrassing. I can't name check the company because the delivery was excellent. I'll name that below. I think I named it at the beginning of the review. Um, so, uh, yeah, so here's the Orca, very similar. Um, the interesting difference in this is that these bits sticking in the side. So again, it's going to be thicker. Bring the other one back in. And um, depending what you put in these, um, I think, well, I'll tell you when I go through them, but it, so it is a, it is a bulkier bag. There's no denying that, um, but it's not massive. Um, so let's have a look, we look and see what's in here. So again, there's the rain cover. I think this is the one where people complained that um, it really needed some sort of a rain cover to be all weather compatible. But so yeah, this came with standards. I don't know whether they've changed what they do, or um, what's or whether they just missed it when they did their review. Um, uh, and yeah, so Velcro just onto this blue bit is soft fabric. I don't know if you can tell what the materials are in this. So this is it's. It's almost like Velcro, it's softer than that, but soft fabric. And this is a kind of a more of a rubbery, um, whereas the other one is um, that kind of ripstop nylon type feel. So this is softer um, to the touch. So there's the back of it's that kind of nylon ripstop type stuff. And the front of it is, I don't know how to describe that. It's not quite wetsuit material, but it's a sort of softer rubber. So the um, rain cover just with Velcro were attached to that blue. And then over the back and down. We'll come back to see what that's like when the recorder is in. Um, it's got um, a detachable belt, um, which, so it gives more flexibility in that sense. And um, this will just clip on here, I think. Um, and you could replace that with your own belt or over the shoulder thing if that didn't quite suit. Um, and then um, I haven't seen reviews for this, so this might take a little bit longer to work out what's going on. But again, the same, the sides open up. Um, here looks like it's flexibility there. That's interesting, isn't it? So we'll come on to that in a minute. Um, and then the same on the other side, I presume. You see, these are well made. It's the both bags feel really well made, to be honest. <laughs> he said, pulling the zipper off. Um, that will go back on, and I can squeeze that down. I presume that's just a fault with this one bag. Uh, we'll see. What oh yeah, okay. It's yeah. I need to. I'll do sort that out later on. Um, <laughs> So the same thing, there's, the sides are open to get your controls um, and then these pouches that are on both sides, um, they look like pockets, I thought they were pockets, I thought it would be really useful to have a spare battery in there or 
memory cards or you know Mars bar or whatever else and um, but actually they just flaps into the bag and this is where um, other people have reported you can put in your um, radio mics and other accessories again which isn't useful to me so um, it might be to you but it's just not a, an issue for me um, I noticed oh there's a pocket there you are right um, I noticed um, somebody was doing a review of this and they were just co coiling all of their spare cable up in this space so it made it a much neater bag um, so there is a bit of add-on space. There's a little pocket in there. That's what I wanted. I hadn't seen that in anything else um, to drop stuff into there. And again, there's more of these straps. These ones are elasticated uh, as opposed to the like the ripstop seatbelt material or whatever it is. Um, and then in the bottom, okay, so this, this continues right the way around. It looks like that might even come all the way off if that was ever useful to you. Um, let's have a quick look and see if that's... No, I don't think it is, but it's certainly very flexible in terms of what, where it's open, where it's closed. And um, there's a sort of metal chassis to this one, um, which it talks about in the advertising. The other one doesn't have that, but it certainly feel the other one feels sturdy enough. Um, but this is nicely made with these four metal bars holding everything together. Still soft in between, so it's not metal along here. It's just keeping the strength. I suppose it might give a bit of strength if something landed on it. Um, but it's just an open case, so I'm imagining that the recorder will fit in here much better. Let's see which way around does this go? It's going to be that way, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oops. So let's push that forward. Got, I suppose, yeah, so you've a bit more flexibility in how high or low it goes in the bag. Um, and still loads of space. There's a lot more space inside this. Loads of space for that big battery. Um, let's up to see what it looks like. So there's, yeah, so it swings around a little bit. And I was interested in the connections for this. I've seen some people make a right mess of doing this. Let's see. Yeah, I wonder if I've done this. I oh, noticed this way. So. Again, this will be fiddly getting it in and out, but I imagine for most users, once it's in, it's going to stay in. But it's got these um, clips rather than the big, in, in the um, Stingray, the Velcro covers the whole way, so it absolutely locks in. Whereas this is just a thinner um, Velcro strap. And I saw people doing all sorts of things saying it just didn't fit underneath this. There were people cutting these off and engineering them, so re-engineering straps. But um, I imagine with a, a bit of a wiggle, because I've seen some people do it and other people not manage it. But just with a bit of a wiggle, it goes in. So don't cut them off until you're absolutely sure. Um, so that clips on and then it's going to tighten up. Let's get the other one on. should mention this is my first ever YouTube video um, and I'm kind of dangling myself around the tripod to make it work because I don't really have much kit just doing it on my mobile so I apologize I'm sure you're getting lots of shakes off me bouncing off the tripod so quite fiddly as it's not to be as imagined so again so those are both clip in get it in roughly the right place that might take a bit of playing and then both of them look like they can just jack up a little bit to tighten it. Now that's quite fiddly. I think they might, this might take a little bit of playing to get it right. But again, I don't mind a little bit of playing at the beginning because you can do that in the dry. And then, as I say, imagine once it's in, it's going to stay in. So I can't quite get these to tighten at the moment, but I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, there we go. Right. Brute force and ignorance. Can I do the same in that? Yes, I can. Right. So, so it does tighten up, but um, as I say, one of my concerns with this, if you don't have that, mine's the big battery's landing on the bottom there, and so it's kind of sitting in pretty stable. But if you had a small battery, or if you're only using the AAs, one of my concerns was that it would um, just fall down inside the bag because you see where these are holding it certainly nowhere near as secure as the stingray bag let's um take that battery here and see what happens just taking that off again so 
there's the battery off. See, this, I mean, this is massive. That lasts you a couple of days, that. Um, and then if I give that a shake, yeah, see, I wonder, there must be a way of securing that somehow better. I've not seen that in other reviews. And there's no instructions in the box. It just comes in an empty cardboard box like this. Um, I wonder if there's instructions online anywhere, but there doesn't seem to be a way. Nice, that's what these are for. Doesn't seem to be a way of securing that in. Yeah, they see they're both hooks. I wondered if that was going to hook underneath, but they're both hooks, so it doesn't work. So that might be a, a little concern for that one. Um, that I see it's in there, but. It doesn't take much for it to shiggle down inside. Maybe if I just tighten that up it would go better, but that's something I'd need a little bit of work on. I'll maybe update you and do an update to the video, see if I can get those clips to work. But anyway, I'll leave that for now and maybe come back to it with an edit right now. Uh, so a couple of updates um, since I first played with this um, Orca bag. Um, first of all, I, I, was, I was really faffing around with these straps, really struggling to get them right. Um, I, I just can't get it right at all. I can't seem to tighten these straps up. Um, now, I've seen other reviews where people have got it fine and it's been solidly held in place, so I'm not sure what it is that I'm doing wrong. Um, but they are just really faffy. Um, uh, and I think, for me, once it's in the bag, if I managed to get those adjusted right, it would be no problem. Um, but I just can't get it. The, you know, see, it's worse now than it was when I first placed it. And I think the, the big battery held it in place. I've taken that battery off at the moment. Um, and it's just sort of swilling or swimming around in here. Um, so that's that. I'm not impressed with these straps. The ones on the um, Stingray are so much better. So much better. Um, okay, so the bag is basically in there. Um, and you've seen the space we've got around the side, so I'll just zip those up for neatness. And then it's a wider bag, so the space down here um, is much bigger, I think. So I think there'll be absolutely no issue whatsoever with these. Now, I'm just assuming, I might do some research into this, but I'm assuming this is just to be able to clip this in with some space. I don't know. I hadn't seen that in any of the reviews, so I might do another bit of a play in another edit. So um, this bit here, the blue, all of the blue material in this works as the the sort of loop bit of the Velcro, the hoop, yeah, the loop, um, and actually it sticks on at that. So I was asking the question about um, these zips. When you've got cables in place, you can't sort of close the bag up. Um, uh, you don't actually need to. I think that's probably what that's designed for, and um, that just comes over and gives a little bit of protection. Um, I think I would still, probably if I was keeping this, I'd probably still separate this into two separate ba zips so that you could close one completely up. Because um, you know what Velcro's like, eventually that'll sort of lose its, its stickiness a bit. Um, the rain cover covers that bit as well and holds it on. Um, so I've worked that bit out. Um, so that's just a slight update after playing with it for a little while. There's buckets of room in here. Small XLR. It's not really small. And... A headphone cable that just dropped on the floor. Um, and you'll see there's no issue at all there. I mean, it has it's slid slightly further over. So again, it, there's, if you've got bigger cables in this and you're only using three channels, you could probably push it further over just to give you even more security in there. Um, Now, that's interesting. The fact that these zippers are connected means you can't cl close up one. I was thinking I'll close up one and leave the other one open at the bottom for my cables coming out. But you can't do that as easily. Uh, interesting. I don't really understand the point of these Velcro straps at the moment. But say, I may well have come back to that. So, um, there you are. That's roughly loosely is the orca bag so that's a that's actually a solution for that this issue around here is you could just disconnect these two zippers um, and leave one of them open to have cables coming out the bottom of your bag um, or if they're coming out the top it's no issue at all okay right 
So, there you are, there's the Orca bag, and with my cables trailing all over the place, out the wrong side, this is always the way, isn't it? Come on guys, invent some wireless mics that are good enough. Um, and then the, the rain cover comes over the top, so that, that feels more secure. Um, connects in four different places if your Velcro's done up, but you can't get in underneath it. Um, so you would have it, I suppose you have it loose, go in and adjust anything and then just knock it back down again. Um, but the flip side of that is actually once it's in place, I mean, you see how much headroom there is in this, it's just empty on top. Um, uh, so yeah, it's not it's not a problem at all there. Um, so it's a bigger bag. Um, I, I'm more drawn, I have to say, I'm more drawn to the Stingray. It just, it's a neater package all round. Um, it feels really secure. It feels much more like it's designed for the F6. Um, and as I say, without the issues around this waist belt thing, I would just have bought it straight away. I wouldn't even have ordered the Orca. Uh, um, I don't really like the blue. Uh, and it's a little bit bigger. Not massively, but it's, it is a little bit bigger. Um, but the... Um, the trial is all going to be in the, that waist belt to see how that works for me. Um, now I'm six foot four um, and an extra large, um, so you might want to try that yourself. Um, so yeah, it was Pink Noise I got it from. Um, it looked like they're going to do easy re returns for the other one, so um, it's worth trialing. But you see, it's quite quite a bit smaller. It just feels like much more of a compact package in, in all. Uh, and the fact that one of my concerns was about the cables not fitting in around the side here, so the fact that I can get my cables in and still pretty much close that um, is great. As I said before, overall I prefer this bag. It's a little bit less faffy, it feels much more secure within the bag itself um, because of those Velcro straps that are, are obviously designed for an F6. Um, the other one I, don't, I think is kind of an adaptation, that, you know, it's a, a different size of a general bag. Um, but this one is is definitely shaped and fitted for the F6. The only thing I'm just a little bit cautious of is how much, I don't know how well you can see it in this light, but um, how much the um, recorder sticks out in front of the, um, over the top of the, the bag. I said with that um, rain cover that comes with it, um, it's massive. So I might see if that can be adapted in some other way. Uh, maybe get it you know further down on this clip here. Sorry, I'm in, in, into evening light here, so it's not great. Um, I think I had it right up at the top before, but maybe if that drops down, that's another couple of inches there, um, and then it goes over onto the back. But there is there is no flexibility with that. It's that you know there's not a way. There's nowhere to attach it further down. Um, I suppose if I was worried about that, I could probably get some Velcro stitched in there or something glued onto that or something like that. But that's, that's the only thing I'm disappointed with. Um, there's very little storage in it, so for me it's fine. As I say, I'm, I'm, all I'm going around is usually is with this and a parabolic, um, or this attached onto some stereo mics or something like that. Um, so I'm, I'm not carrying lots of stuff to be honest. I always like to have an extra battery, um, but I can stick that in, in another bag or in my pockets or whatever else. Uh, my biggest concern about it was the whether the um, cables would have enough room in here to close over, which doesn't really matter, but it just protects them a little bit, so I was quite encouraged by that. Um, so, um, yeah, overall really pleased. I'm just, as I'm exploring, just finding other wee things here, so just noticed in the bottom of this, there's these little round Velcroed on bits, which cover another little, I think it's probably a bolt, and it might just be to kind of cover them to protect your um, cables. Um, but uh, it, it could also be another magnetic placement. I don't think it is. Um, they, they're just loose Velcro. They'll get lost in times, but I don't think they're they're kind of really important. You see, there's two of them on each side. Um, but, you know, apart from that, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, I think the Stingray is the one I'm going to be keeping. Um, it's the one that um, Free to Use Sounds, um, I don't know his name, the guy from there, um, he reviewed this a while back. Uh, I'll try and put a link into that if I can work out how to do it on YouTube. Uh, to his review um but that's it um so i hope that's been useful to you uh, i thought it was really useful to see the two next to each other i think if i'd bought either i would have been happy with them i would have kept either of them uh, but it's been really helpful that pink noise were the only people i could find that had both of them in stock 
Um, so I was able to try them both and compare. Um, so I hope that comparison has been useful for you as well. Okay, thanks very much.